<clears throat> we have to make the investments that are going to slow our contributions to climate change today, not tomorrow. And here's the good news. <clears throat> Something that is caused by humans can be solved by humans. I've set a course for the United States to achieve 50 to 52 percent reduction in greenhouse emissions by 2030. And for us to reach that net zero emissions in the economy, economy-wide, across the board, by 2050. As part of that, I set a goal of having our country reduce 100 100 percent carbon pollution-free power by 2035. We can do that. We can do all of this in a way that creates good jobs, lowers costs to consumers and businesses, and makes us global leaders in an entirely new industry that other countries are really working hard to try to dominate. I just toured the Renewable Energy Lab, which I haven't been here not the same lab, but I haven't been here since 2011. <clears throat> it was just started under President Carter and expanded under President Bush, H.W. Bush. Leaders of both parties have recognized that clean energy future is an economic imperative and a national security imperative and an environmental imperative. That's why my Build Back Better plan calls for significant new investments in upgrading research infrastructures, laboratories all across the country. We'll be, uh, we'll be making uh, one of those breakthroughs in solar, wind, and storage uh, on, out of these facilities. Out-innovate the rest of the world and drive down the cost of renewable energy. Of course, we have to invest in the future. We need to deploy cutting-edge technologies. And we have to employ them today, not tomorrow. I had a chance to see the state of our wind turbine testing and new battery technologies. Because of the years of work that have taken place here and these technologies aren't science fiction. They're ready to be installed and scaled up across the country right now by union members like the ones we heard from today. And that's what we're going to do. You know, as we just heard from the CEO of Xcel Energy, they set a goal of producing 100 percent carbon emission free power. They were the first major utility, the first major utility to set that goal. And today, over 20 large facilities around the nation have set a similar goal. 